Today we're going to be making a winter vegetable pesto. Uh, the vegetables I'm using today are broccoli and kale. Uh, what I've done in advance is I've taken these and I've put them in a pot of boiling water just until the, uh, the broccoli is tender throughout. Uh, we're cooking this today with our Slendia edamame bean fettuccine. This is a great product with a uh, slightly nutty taste. It complements the pesto really well. We've also got some mint to give it a pop of freshness. We've got some walnuts to boost the nutty flavor a little bit. Got some lemon in here as well that I've zested and juiced. A garlic clove for a little bit more spice. And lastly, I've got some nutritional yeast seasoning. Uh, to start off with, we're gonna take our cooked broccoli and kale and we're gonna pop them in a food processor. Next, we're going to pulse this until the broccoli and kale is a nice, almost smooth consistency. Next, we're gonna add our mint as well as our walnuts and our lemon zest and cracked pepper and our nutritional yeast seasoning. In goes the garlic. We're only gonna use a small handful of the walnuts and pulse these together until they're smooth as well. While the machine is running, we're going to drizzle in some olive oil. This will just add some richness to the pesto and give it a really nice flavor. We're gonna take this over to the pan now and toss it together with some of our edamame fettuccine. And the pan heated up over medium heat. We're just gonna drizzle in a little bit more olive oil. Next, we're gonna go in with our edamame fettuccine. This has just been pre-cooked according to package instructions. Then we're gonna go in with our pesto. I'm just going to toss this together to combine. We're also going to add a couple of tablespoons of lemon juice as well as a nice big pinch of salt. Toss this together. Next we're going to give it a taste. Mm. And once that's ready, it can be brought over to serve. And so we've got a nice wide shallow bowl take some of our pesto with fettuccine and serve it with a few extra walnuts on top as well as one last dash of olive oil and there you have it winter vegetable pesto